Hey guys, so in this video, I measure all the goats with this measuring stick, and I did it wrong the entire time. So this dough here, I thought was over height because I was looking at the top of the bar, not the bottom. Um, and I feel so stupid about it. I am so sorry. But, um, but the good news is all the doughs are within their height requirements. They're all below the 22 and a half inches. Um, so super happy about that, but I am so sorry that through this whole video you're going to have me telling you the wrong measurement because I was not being smart. So unfortunately the bucks are still over height even though um, I was doing it wrong. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, so today... Um, I am giving the goats their CD and T, trimming their hooves, and giving them a little bit of selenium. Um, the first goats are due in a month, uh, give or take. She, this is Ivy. Um, she was, she is due uh, February 24th, or I think. I have to check or right in the beginning of March. She was bred two different days. Um, but I also wanted to get everyone up here to check if they're pregnant because at this point they should, I believe, all have udder bumps. Um, and you should be able to fill babies. So I did fill her. Um, walk around. She does have a little udder bump, um, and this is her first time kidding, so uh, super excited. She was the one I was mostly worried about uh, being pregnant, just because she is kind of skittish and I can't really touch her or feel her in the pen. Um, I also bought this ADGA measuring stick, and... Uh, to see how tall so obviously she's standing odd but she's about there and for does they can't go over 22 and a half so she's well within the requirements so yeah and I already did her hooves and gave her everything so she's good to go now um so super excited about these babies because as you know um her sire was rocky who died and i sold clover and iris who were her sis half sisters so she's the last rocky uh doe i have in my herd so i'm hoping I made the right decision with keeping her. Um, Body-wise, she was better than the other two, I think. Um, she's just super wide. She has better brisket. Um, so I'm hoping her udder is awesome as well. So fingers crossed. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab the next goat. Alrighty, and then here's Pepper. Um... <laughs> Still, and she has an udder bump, um, and she is due <clears throat> March 9th, I believe. Um, I have, I'm having a really hard time remembering all their due dates this year for some reason. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, my dad and nephew came around and. I don't like to record with people, um, just because I'm not comfortable yet. But bad news with Pepper. Um, she is over height. This is, this is Mocha, but Pepper is over height and not by a little bit. So I'm probably going to post on a couple ADGA forms and I go on Facebook and ask for advice. Um, and then more bad news is I don't think mocha here is pregnant she's due the day after pepper and she has no udder bump and i'm trying to fill for babies um 
haven't felt anything yet. I'm going to try and feel a little bit more. <clears throat> she's in height. Um, she's like 22, like right below 22 and a half inches. So almost too tall, but she's not, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to feel a little bit more than grab another goat. All right, so I got Cookie, and she's obviously pregnant. I can see her udder bump from in the pen. So that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and measure her now and get her shots and hooves trimmed. Yeah, she is definitely pregnant. Her udder bump is just, is pretty small, but it's there. She's wide, wide. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to show on camera, but she's huge. So I'm gonna say for sure pregnant. Um, and I did measure her. She's um, below, a little above 22, but definitely below 22 and a half. So she's good. Her sire is Miles. So um, fingers crossed that he's not over height. Um, but yeah, she's all good. I'm going to do all her stuff. Then I'll grab Fiona. And then I'll do the baby. And then I'll move on to the box. Okay, I take it back. She is below 22, so that's even better. Um, I trimmed her hooves, and I figured I would go ahead and redo it. So, but all over, she's it would focus. I guess like right here, she goes a little over, but she's definitely within height requirements, so that's good. Okay, I've got Fiona, and she's for sure pregnant. Her udder bump is very noticeable, um, and she's huge, very wide. Yeah, so lots of babies. Go ahead and do her. Measure her. So again, she's she's good. <laughs> yep. So far it's only Pepper. Um but she was I was moving around Pepper. Like I said, and it was still very high, so we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get her done, do the baby, and then I'll start on the box. Okay, I just got done with Miles, and it's not even funny how far over height he is. Um, yeah supposed to be all the way down here so that sucks a lot um but so far only one of his daughters has been over height so we'll see i mean i won't be using him much anymore anyways i may eventually just get him fixed and keep him as a pet but we'll see um yeah so one more goat to go and then i'm all done for the day well guys, it looks like I need new bucks. Well, after um, everyone kids, then I'll put them, please check up for sale. Yeah, this sucks, but I know it's not uncommon. Very unfortunate. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up with him and then I'll be done with all of their maintenance. Alrighty guys, so I'm all done with all the goats. Um, I, I posted about Pepper and a lot of people were saying, you know, make sure she's standing correctly. Um, and I, I can just breed her to a smaller buck and watch her offspring. Um, so that's good and you know there's a chance that 
maybe she wasn't standing correctly and she's not as bad but um i showered i went to the store and i bought some animal crackers and they haven't had them in a while so i figure i'll give them some um this is also the first year i kind of stopped feeding them grain through their pregnancy um for the first little while i did but once i ran out i haven't gotten more um people say that the more grain you feed uh the chance of bigger babies i've never had an issue and i've fed grain um this entire time so but we'll see this is the first year i haven't um so i'm not worried we'll see though uh i do need to go get uh more to stock up for when i have babies oh i know i'm gonna get you some but yeah um so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in uh two weeks for when i shave all their booties yeah so again thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time